All right, so uh, I, th I think it's functioning fine. I'll just wind it up first. I'm running at 24 now. But as you can see, there's no real problem to it. Um, but as soon as I put the lid on, we'll see here. So this will this will press too much. Probably press too much on this. Is my guess. So as you can see, there's kind of a gap here. That seems to be the case anyhow, but yeah. So even with this, maybe. Okay, that worked fine. But we'll put some more pressure on it. Okay, so I wound it up. And we're gonna put some pressure here. Well. So it's becoming. It's unwinding itself here. And what I've noticed is that the height of this screw is, um, yeah, you can see where it's at. Um, whilst this is at another height, so maybe it should be down here. But for some reason this popped up to this. And I've also noticed that this screw in itself can be pushed. So it has some kind of pushing mechanism here. And I tried pushing this, and that apparently does not create that much friction so that it um, becomes un unwound. But uh, I don't know what the issue is. Could be with maybe with the spool that it. In, uh, I should like compress it a bit or something. I don't know what your thoughts are. Because another, uh, what I haven't tried is trying to screw this more and see if I can like screw it down. But I don't think I can, but obviously can be depressed a bit. But all of this is tight, this is tight. It's, I think it's moving fine when it's It's a bit of a click sound, but I think it's moving fine. It does pull if you feel it when you run it, it does pull. So we'll see if there's a good way. Otherwise, I think it's possible to run it with the lid being not that tight. But then maybe you get light leaks or maybe to create more of a different barrier here. Like keep it loose and just seal it up loosely.